With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Okay, so the given question here we have is let n equals to 10 is having the power of 143 minus 1 with a denominator of 9. Then which of the following statements are what? True. Okay, so first what I'm going to do, I'm going to write this equation given to me which says that n equals to what? 10 having the power of 143 minus 1 divided by 9. Okay, if I solve this part and the numerator part, I can write this part as what? This part will become my, this part will be the value of 10 to the power 143 minus 1 will become 9, 9, 9, 9, repeated up to what? Repeated up to last 9 which is having the, okay, so how many times this 9 will be repeated exactly? This 9 will be repeated 143 times, right? Simple. And divide by what? 9. Now if I divide this term, numerator term with the denominator 9, the all value will come out as what? 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, up to what? 1. And this one is what repeated? This one is repeated 143 times. Okay. Right. This one is repeated 143, right? This is my answer. Now first question says that, sorry, first option says that n is prime. I have to check whether this value of n, the new value, update value of n, which one? This one. And repeated what? 143 times is what? This is a prime number exactly. This will be my prime number, right? Because this is a 111 repeated what? 143 times. So this is my prime number, which is my prime solution here. So I can say that this option is what? Correct, I have. Right. Now option 2 says that n equals to what? 1 plus 10 to the power 12 plus 10 to the power 24 plus something something up to 10 to the power 1 of 32. With the product of this. 1 plus 10 plus 10 to the power square plus 10 up to having the power of 10. Now, okay. If I check for this option now, I can say that according to this, my n will be what? n will be 1. Okay, if I look at this part first, 1 plus 10 to the power 12, it means that 1, then there will be 11 zeros, right? Then there will be 11 zeros. There will be 11 zeros. And after 11 zeros, there will be a 1. Then again, after 11 zeros, there will be a 1 value. It will be repeated what? Up to what? 10 to the power 32 times. Having the power of 10 to the power 1 to 32, sorry. So this will become this value. Suppose this one is value. The last one here is same here, this one. So now, it says that this part here, uh, this part, this part is basically having the values of 1, how many times? 11 times because the power is what having 10 to the power 10. Okay. After summation, the value we will receive is what? 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. This is what 11 times of 1 I have here. And we can clearly know that this 0. How many zeros are there? Exactly. The zeros are there at how many? 11 zeros. And this, how many ones are there? 11. So if I predict these two values, the values will be left. There will be another 0 left uh, other than this. So there cannot be a uh, consecutive number of 11 ones. There should also be a extra zero here for the solution. So it means that this option is not correct option. Option two is not my correct option. So now option three says that it is also same is up as the above one, but there are 10 to the power 11. It means that after one, after the first one, there will be 10 zeros, not 11 zeros this time. It means that n equals to what? 1, 0, 0, 0, again, there's a 1, then 0, 0, 0, again, there's a 1, then 0, 0, 0, again, there's a what? 1. So how many zeros are there exactly? There are this time, there are 10 zeros. And similarly, this one are what? 11 ones again I have, if I look at the option, again, same option with the above one, okay. So, there are also 11 zeros, sorry, 11 ones, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 1, 11, there. Now, it says that there are 10 zeros, there are 10 zeros in this range, and there are 11 ones. So, when I take the product, this con solution will come out as what? This solution will come out as 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, how many times? Will be repeated up to 143 times. Why? Because we can also check here, the power is what? 132 here. With the addition of 1 here, this will become what? 132 and this is what? Ha having 11 ones there. So this will become 132 plus 11 will be 143. Power is what? Correct. Similarly, this one is also power having 143, but this time there is a plus of 0, extra 0 in there in between the range. And so I can say that now, if the solution is coming as 143 times of 11, 143 times of 1, so it means that n is equal to what? This actual n. So I can say that now option number 3 is what? correct option I have. Option number 4. Option one, number 4 I can clearly check from the power I have. Here the power is what? 133. And this is what? 10 out of 12. Clearly the solution is not having the power of 143. So this is the wrong option I have. So from these all 4 options I can now clearly say that option number 1 is the correct answer and option number 3 is my correct option I have. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.